So let us begin with a new topic muscular system in human beings. Children, the fleshy part in our body are called as muscles. It's very important for an organism to move, and this movement is brought about by the movement of muscles that is contraction and relaxation of muscles as well as bones bring about movement in the body of the organism so what are muscles muscles are the bundle of fibers that can contract and relax as required muscles are firmly attached to bones by means of tendons when muscles contract there is movement at joint and bones move either nearer or away from each other. The action of mu muscles is necessary for all kinds of movements. From the small movements of eyelids to those that demand great strength when chopping wood with an axe. We use muscles for various movements like talking, laughing, walking, jumping, throwing, etc. Basically, muscles are of two types. Voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles before we proceed let us understand what is voluntary and involuntary children voluntary means that depends on our will whereas involuntary means that does not depend on our will so actions like jumping running uh, eating food etc are voluntary actions and which muscles bring about these actions of course, the muscles of arms and legs. So, the muscles of arms and legs are voluntary muscles. Okay. Whereas, uh, the actions performed by our stomach, intestine, liver or heart are involuntary actions. That, uh, that means it does not depend on our will. They are, these actions are carried out automatically. Okay, so these actions are involuntary actions and the muscles which are involved in involuntary actions are called as involuntary muscles. So what could be the examples of involuntary muscles? Of course, the muscles of stomach, liver, heart, small intestine, large intestine, etc. which carry out involuntary functions are involuntary muscles. Is that clear? Now let's understand different types of muscles. First, let's see what are skeletal muscles. The two ends of each of these muscles are attached to two different bones. See, as you can see here, this muscle, two ends of these muscles are attached to two different bones. One bone is here and another bone is here. Okay. Examples of such muscles are muscles of arms and legs. Their movements are voluntary. That is, their uh, voluntary means that depends on our own will. They are responsible for holding the bones of the skeleton together and giving shape to our body. Clear? Now next is cardiac muscle. These muscles bring about contraction and relaxation of heart. The movement is involuntary. Cardiac muscle cause our heart to relax and contract continuously at rate of about 70 times per minute. Now the third type of muscle is smooth muscles. The muscles are present in the internal organs other than the heart. For example, muscles of stomach, intestine, blood vessel, uterus, etc. The movement are involuntary and slow. Various vital functions of our body of which we remain quite unaware are carried out by these special muscles. Now let's see how muscles perform their functions. Children, the muscles in the front of the bone in our upper arm is called as bicep whereas the muscles in the back side of the bone is called as tricep. Okay. Now, we will understand how do the muscles perform their functions. 
when mu muscles of our body always work in groups. When some muscles contract, other muscles of the same group relax. This is how muscles help in proper functioning of the body. Children, always remember, muscles in our body must be strong and efficient. Our diet must include proteins and carbohydrates in sufficient quantity for the proper growth and repair of muscles. We must get regular exercise. It makes our muscles strong. We must sit with a straight back and not with a back with hunched or bent. Otherwise, gradually changes occur in the structure of the vertebrae. Muscles in the shoulders and back begin to hurt. Disorders of vertebral column may also arise. During exercise, movement of heart muscles becomes more rapid. Breathing too becomes faster, ensuring a sufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients to various parts of the body. So do regular, do regular exercise. So that's all for today dear students. Now it's time to complete your assignment. Please complete this assignment in your science notebook. Thank you for watching.